Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. Okay, the holidays are all over. And not every one of our animals got out into a home over the holidays. So we have some down here that we'd sure like you to come take a look at. Including that little cutie. Oh, he's adorable. We want to talk first, though, Deborah, about the needs that we have here at the shelter. We need volunteers. This is a great time of year for anybody who's interested in volunteering with us to come down and become a volunteer. It's very easy. You can even do it online. Our application is online. You can go to the Animal Services website, www.slowanimalservices.com and uh, fill out the application right there online. You can come down here and see what we're all about, talk to some volunteers down here. We really need, our cats and dogs really need your help down here. So please consider January resolution that you want to come down and volunteer with us. That would be terrific. That would we be can terrific. use all the help we can get. And we're a great bunch of people. I think you'll love it down here. Okay, let's talk about Harry, enough well, time spent. This is our own little Prince Harry. Is he the cutest little thing, his little turned up nose? Um, I can't believe nobody came looking for this guy. He was a stray picked up in a Tascadero. We think he's about 12 years old, so that means he gets the senior rebate. Uh, gets some money back on his adoption fee if you decide to adopt him. And these little guys can live a long time, so he's got a long life ahead of him. And he's just the perfect lap dog, Deborah. He just, I mean, he's been here just sitting here like this, no, no squirming, no nothing, no shaking. Sometimes they just kind of shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Nothing. Nope. And uh, he's really easygoing, he's super socialized, a great little lap dog, loves people, likes other dogs, he's house trained, he loves to walk on a leash. I mean, what more do you want? Wow. Help so come Harry on down. out of here. Check out cute little Harry. His ID number is 222-478. Oh, this little girl is so cute. She's only about five years old, a little Queensland healer. Just as sweet as she can be. We've named her Pepper. Um, if one of your resolutions is to, to lose a little bit of weight, why don't you team up with Pepper? Because she could take off a pound or two as well. Um, when she gets some of that weight off, she's going to be a happy, happy little girl. But she's a sweetheart anyway. Pepper's ID number is 222-502. Just as sweet as she can be. This is Tommy. I'm so sorry that he's still here. He's been with us, I think, a couple of months now. And he, he came in just a crazy wild child, and he's gotten a lot of training, and he's really smart. He responds to it very well. He's a really affectionate dog, and he's a lot of fun. So somebody who wants a fun, goofy dog needs to come meet Tommy. Now, Deborah, half his adoption fee is paid, and what we're doing is we're going to send the trainer to the adoptee's home with Tommy. Well, maybe not at the same moment, right. but for a consult on everything that he's been learning at the shelter. That's fantastic. So with half of his adoption fee paid, that will save you more than $50, and you're going to get a free training session. So what more could you want? Tommy's ID number is 221-224. This is Kenny. He is just kind of a sweet, nice, mellow, easygoing guy. Um, about nine years old, so a little bit older. Half of his adoption fee has been paid, so you save more than $50 if you adopt him. He needs a nice home for the, the rest of his life. Kenny's ID number is 221-518. Kenny. Oh, look at the love. Hey, Nacho, check out my new jewelry. Where'd you get that? My person decided to put this cool tag on me. Now if I ever get lost, other people can help me get home. Gee, I better get one too. Be responsible. Join the pack today and show your four-legged friend just how much you love them. This sweet girl, what a great size she is. This little girl was found in Paso Robles on the 29th of December. She's such a nice dog, I can't believe no one's down here looking for her. Um, very sweet, her name is Meadow and her ID number is 222-423. Oh, this beautiful little thing was found in San Luis Obispo, Monterey Road um, on, where's the date? The 29th of December. Again, I cannot believe no one's looking for this little girl. She looks so much like my mom's dog. It's unbelievable. We think she's about five years old. She's scared to death down here, but once she gets comfortable with you, she's very sweet. Love the ears. I love those ears. So Ginger's ID number is 222-422.
is another dog that came in on the 29th of December. This guy was picked up in Santa Margarita. We had a heck of a lot of dogs brought in here on the 29th of December, apparently. He's a lovely dog, um, very athletic, but pretty calm at the same time. We're gonna call him Marco because his owner has not come to get him. Uh, about three years old, great dog. ID number 222-432. Well, Sadie was taken from her owner because they weren't taking good care of her, and she's been there for two months now, darn it, and she deserves a nice home. She came in with Kenny, who you saw earlier. She is about five years old. She is sweet. She's affectionate. Half of her adoption fee is paid as well. Wow. So if you want a sweet friend to spend your days with and keep you company and watch movies with you, Sadie's your gal. Her ID number is 221-517. So here I am out with one of my good friends. This is where we go walking our dogs. We get to sit on some park benches now and again. It was a great opportunity for you guys to come out. We need volunteers. We'd really like some more dog walkers. We're at a point now where we just don't have enough people walking the dogs and these dogs have to stay in their kennel day in and day out, 24 by seven. These dogs really need to get out, have a little exercise, feel the grass. You can sit with them out here, socialize them. It makes them ever so much more adoptable. So if you've got any time whatsoever, we could use you down here. Bring a friend. Two of you walk dogs together. We have dogs that get along with other dogs that you can go out with together. It's a fabulous opportunity for both you and the dog. We'd love to see you down here. It's easy to be a volunteer. We're a great bunch of people, I guarantee it. You can have a lot of fun and help the dogs. Think about it. This is Holly. She's a little fire plug if I ever saw one. She's about eight years old. She loves people. She is as gentle as she can be. She prefers not to spend her time with other dogs. She prefers it with her person. So if you're looking for a buddy for yourself and someone to walk around and maybe take a couple of pounds off of, Holly might just might be your gal. Her ID number is 205-186. These two little cuties were picked up in San Miguel on the 28th of December. And again, I can't believe no one's in here looking for these two little cutie pies. Uh, the little brown one's name is Beans, and he's about three years old. His ID number is 222-396. And the little white one's name is, yes, you guessed it, Rice. And um, she is about three years old, ID number 222-397. It would seem we'd want them adopted together just for their name's sake. It would be really nice. Of course, you could also change those names. But hey, <laughs> beans and rice has its, uh, has its charm. So these little cutie pies, both about three years old, just really sweet little dogs. fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Back in. Oh, yeah. well, there's Deborah, a looker. He is so handsome. This is going to get you noticed. That is a good looking wow. dog. That is a three-year-old approximately shepherd who was found in Santa Margarita on, you guessed it, the 29th of December. 
Um, really nice guy. Very smart. Seems to be really nice. He's good on the leash. He's, he's calm. He's not nervous like a lot of shepherds are. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. Dog. Yes. His name is Benjamin. And uh, his ID number is 222-431. And did you notice his ears Look that he put that. up for us? He's quite spectacular. Wow. Oh, Chana's just a beautiful little two-year-old. Um, her owners could no longer keep her. And she's very loving. She's easy on the leash. She's, she knows sit. She's just very affectionate. What a sweet, sweet dog. Needs to go someplace now where she never has to have any more babies and she just gets to be somebody's little girl. Chada's ID number is 214-370. Look at that face. She's beautiful. Aww. She's really beautiful. <laughs> Dirk is extremely loving and affectionate, and he is all about the belly rub. You guys, if you would just rub this guy's belly, he would just hang out for hours letting you do that. He's also got a well tail wagon situation going on there. Just about two years old, half of his adoption fee is paid. This is Dirk, ID number 222-083. He seems to be the type of guy who starts his day happy and ends his day happy, huh? Seems like it. Mm. Hey, mister, don't call the pound. I live just around the corner. Oh, man, this doesn't look good for me. If only I had some kind of ID. Uh-oh, Nacho is headed for the pound. With a visible ID, he'd be headed home. Let's all join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. We really need to have a special on blue pit bulls. Yes, we do. Um, we got a bunch of them down here. This is Liza, just about four years old. Very sweet, affectionate dog. She loves to play fetch. She's house trained. She's sweet. She's a nice size. A very nice size. Half of her adoption fee is paid, which so you save over $50 on the adoption fee for this girl. And she's just a really nice dog. Her ID number is 221-472, Liza. We're having quite a run on shepherds down here. Also, we um, have a lot of them. We've been getting a lot of them. Luckily, they get adopted fairly easily. But this gorgeous creature, and he is gorgeous, just came in today on the 8th of January. Came in from Oceano, um, picked up on Paso Robles Street. He's a beautiful dog. He's very young, beautiful, sparkly white teeth, just a year old maybe. Um, friendly, playful, gorgeous, great dog. His ID number is 222-541. Really gorgeous dog. Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's Nacho. I told him to get a pet ID tag. I hope he's okay. Our pets depend on us for their safety. Join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. Wow, now there's one you could have ridden in here. Diesel is a big boy, and he's a big sweet boy, about four years old. He is Greer's favorite. He went to the radio show, he went on the Congleton show and was a star. He's just sweet, he's affectionate, he's a gentle boy. He's house trained, easy to walk. He's just gorgeous. I just, I'm surprised he's still here. He's been here almost a month and I'm just really shocked because he's terrific. And half of his adoption fee is paid. That's great. That is great. That's a bargain mm -hmm. for you as well. And, I think um, you really have to come here and meet him and take him out for a walk. I think people probably don't believe that he's easy on the leash, which we say that he is. Really good dog. Really great dog. And look at that happy face. That mm -hmm. is a happy face. Mm -hmm. Diesel's ID number is 191667. Look at that, another beautiful shepherd. I, I, I don't know that we've ever had so many shepherds in the, the shelter at one time. This is another gorgeous dog, about four years old. 
um, from Atascadero. He hasn't been claimed, so he is up for adoption. She? She, I'm sorry. Mm. This is Kona. You're right. I'm sorry. This is Kona. She is a beautiful girl. Likes to play ball. She's very responsive to people. Just a great, great dog. Her ID number is 191662. I think Mason is probably the favorite of the, the, the shelter volunteers in the shelter right now. Everybody is crazy about Mason. He is such a sweet boy. He is funny. He loves to play with his doggy buddies. He is just a sweet dog. He's super affectionate with people. He's a tank. He's strong as an ox. But he is a gentle, sweet, well, he's, I don't know if he's gentle. He's a sweet, sweet giant. He can bang your, he can knock he's you strong. around a little bit. But he has a good, big, sweet heart. I have one kind of like him at home. I just adore. This is Mason. We love him so much. His ID number is 222036. This is the best thing you can possibly do for your companion animal. Put a collar and a tag on your friend, your dog, your cat. If they get lost, they'll get brought home to you rather than being brought to a shelter or a pound where overpopulation means that somebody gets euthanized. So please protect everybody. And folks, even if you have a collar, a tag, an identification on your pet, ask your neighbor if they do. If you see that a neighbor doesn't, please encourage them to identify their animal. It will save everybody's life and keep everybody alive. This is Dolly. She is a beautiful dog. She's just about a year and a half old. Um, and her owners could no longer keep her. She just really needs some training, honestly. She's got a lot of energy. She loves to chase balls. She's smart. She knows sits. Very sweet. Um, loves, grew up with children, so she really likes kids. And half of her adoption fee is paid. So there you go. She's a bargain, bargain to boot. Dolly's ID number is 222322. This is Feely. She is just about um, three years old and a really pretty dog. Her owners could no longer keep her. Um, she is very good on the leash, very easy on the leash. She's a house trained. She loves her rope, rope toys and um, just kind of a sweet, affectionate girl that needs a second chance at a good home. She Aww. needs someone to kiss, it looks like. Yes, she does. And she's got great ears, too. Yes. Her ID number is 222303. This is Feely. Oh, no. Bonsai Cat is attacking the village. Mighty Bonsai Cat is stalking before the final kill. We'll never get out of here alive if he sees us. We'll never escape in time. Ah! Medic! Medic! Is this the end of civilization? Mighty Bonsai Cat waits no more! Ah, with one flick of the tail, it's all over! Colonel, where's that airstrike order? Mm, the bombers are useless no. against Bonsai Cat! Think of cat. all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Oh, this sweet little girl. She's about nine years old. Half of her adoption fee has been paid. She does have some health issues, so she needs to go to a home that, that's willing to deal with, with her health issues. She's just as sweet as she can be, and she's a beautiful little thing. Her name is Cadence, and um, we just love her and hope she gets into a home that will take care of her for the time that she has left. Her ID number is 222296. This is Kaylee, um, about four years old, a Sharpay mix. And um, she's pretty, she's decent on the leash. She's house trained, she knows sit, she loves to play fetch, a really great ball dog. Very sweet girl, but all about people, not so much other animals. So if you want a, a, a companion just for yourself, Kaylee might be the girl for you. ID number 222253. Oh, we've got a lot of cats to show you, and we're starting out with my boy Percy here. He is a doll. He is five years old. He is ID number 222262, and he has half of his adoption fee paid, yes. 
If you come down here and fall in love with him, half of his adoption fee is paid. That is Percy 222262. A gorgeous tabby. Here's another tabby. This is Trey. He is about three years old, and his ID number is 222438. That is Trey, and look at his gorgeous green eyes. 222438, Trey. Let's give Sarah a little time. She's looking over her shoulder. She's a little timid and shy, little Sarah. She is uh, just about seven months old. She came in about, stop. Say hi to Sarah. Sarah has half of her adoption fee paid. That's right. If you come down here and want to take her out and adopt her, you only have to pay half of the adoption fee. That's $40 in your pocket. Sarah is ID number 219602. Sarah. Nacho, you're okay. Whoa, that was a close call. I could have lost my life at the pound. Well, now you have a tag. Not only a tag, but a microchip, too. Can't take any chances. No one expects their pets to get out, but they do. An ID is a lifesaver. If you love them, tag them. Okay, say hi to Charlie. He is a very cute tabby on white. He's just about seven months old, and his ID number is 221348. Charlie. Hi, Lulu. Here we have a great black and white cat named Lulu, and she's a very, very nice cat. She is ID number 222471, Lulu. Say hi to Ted. He's another beautiful, big tabby. He is ID number 222521, that's Ted. Here is a beautiful black cat. She is so shiny black. You have to come down here and see her. And she has those gorgeous topaz eyes. Stunning. Her name is Jasmine. She's just about a year old. And her ID number is 222517. Jasmine. Hi, Marty. There's a lot of competition for these orange tabbies, especially if they have this buff tone, and Marty is one of those. He is beautifully marked. He is just about two years old, and his ID number is 222520, Marty. Gosh, we have a lot of tabbies this go round. Sometimes they're more black and white, sometimes more tabbies. It all depends. Anyway, here is another handsome tabby. This is Bailey. Uh, Bailey is just about a year old. ID number 221466. Bailey. So, if you like cats, I'm sure you could be a cat volunteer. How hard is it to do it? Well, all you have to do is open the cage just like Karen did. Grab a cat nicely, take it out, get a grooming tool from the kitchen. We provide grooming tools. Have a seat in the cat room and just put the cat on your lap and either pet the cat or groom the cat. It makes the cat uh, very user-friendly, gets used to people, makes it more adoptable, and you would be surprised how much happier it is when the cat gets back into the cage after spending some time out. Also, it starts the cat wanting to groom himself or herself. So if you like cats, why not come down and spend a little time with some of our cats, make them feel better, and I guarantee you'll feel better. Think about it. Hello. 
Hello, Pearl. This is another beautiful tabby. She is a lighter tabby, really nicely marked. She's just about a year old, and her ID number is 222447. Pearl. Next up, we've got Alfie, yet another tabby. He's just about two years old, ID number... No, he's not a tabby. This is a black cat. He's not a tabby. No, no. should we stop filming? Stop filming. Stop filming. No. Next up, we've got Alfie. He is a big, handsome black cat, as you can see. He's just about two years old, and his ID number is 222488. Alfie. Well, here's Joe just hanging out in his cage. The space you see there is the space that the cats get to live in. It's not a good situation when we have some cats here for two or three months. Can you imagine living in a cage this size, two or three months? So my plug to you is to come down here and volunteer with us. It's January. It's a good time to make some New Year's resolutions. Maybe one of them will be to come down here and volunteer and work with some of our cats. All we ask you to do is to, if you like cats, take them out of their cages, groom them, brush them, talk to them. It makes them so much more adoptable and really enlivens their day and it enlivens them so then they get adopted. So consider volunteering with us. And if you want to do that, you can, you can go online and get an application and fill it out right online, slowanimalservices.com. Right now we want to talk about Joe and get him out of here. He is a lovely cat, very calm, cool, and collected as you can see. Just about four years old, ID number 222542. 